As we're making forage, it's important to remember that uh, there is a certain level of starch and sugar in that forage when we cut it, and, and that's 100% digestible. So we would like to keep as much for that for the animals as we can. And when we cut alfalfa, it continues to respire to break down these starches and sugars and give off carbon dioxide. Uh, the more that that happens, the more starch and sugars we lose and the more energy we lose from that forage. So our goal should be when we cut a grass or alfalfa or any kind of forage to get that first 15% moisture dried off as quickly as possible. The faster that that forage dries down from the 75% water when we cut it to 60% water, the faster we can shut down that respiration and the more starches and sugars we can preserve. So we can, the, the way to get hay to dry as quickly as possible is first to properly condition the hay and then to make a wide swath. When we are conditioning the hay, we can use either a flail conditioner for grassy crops or roller conditioner for uh, legume crops. Uh, we use the roller conditioner for legumes because we have less leaf loss and we want to maintain that uh, quality of the leaves and keep it in the final product that we bale. Uh, either one must be properly adjusted so that we have adequate conditioning. And then again, uh, after conditioning, put that hay into a wide swath covering 70 to 80% of the cut area.